if we're going to see more stimulus, more QE in the future, do you have a take on what the equity market might do and a continued decoupling between the financial economy and the broad economy, Peter? Well, one thing the rate cuts are going to do is they will help the stock market. You know, um, they do bring down the margin interest costs. So for speculators who want to borrow money from their brokerage firms to buy stocks, those rates are affected by the Fed. Right? So it will make it cheaper to speculate on stocks. Um, and so there may be more stock speculation. We could get new highs in the stock market, especially you know if we get 50 points. I think if we get 25, the market might sell off because now the hopes are up for 50. And right. the Fed may disappoint if it only comes through with 25. So right. we'll see. Um, but I, I think that at some point, and I think we're already seeing that, there is a rotation going on out of the MAG7 you know, v- you know, momentum AI names into more defensive value dividend paying type stocks. That's already happening. And I think that's going to continue. And, and so I think, you know, the Dow has been the laggard this year. The Dow is up a lot less than the S&P and the NASDAQ. Uh, but I think next year, I think the Dow will do better than the NASDAQ and the S&P um, and the utilities. Well, the Dow utilities have hit new highs too now. But again, they're not doing as well as uh, the NASDAQ. But I think that's going to change. But I think that the bigger rotation will be out of U.S. assets entirely. And I've been waiting this for some time now, but into international equities into emerging markets. Um, And so that's where I think the money is going to be flowing out of U.S. and out of dollars internationally into value, dividends, resources, uh, including, you know, mining and precious metals mining stocks should be the major beneficiary of this next wave of uh, uh, rate cuts and QE. Why? Why do you? Because I hear that a lot. And I I mean, I, I'm betting on you being right, quite frankly, but why do you think that's the case? Why would rate cuts uh, continue to encourage this rotation? Well, because, you know, the last couple of times the Fed did this, you know, after the 08 financial crisis, you know, after COVID, um, they were still operating under the pretense that inflation was below 2% and therefore the Fed's actions were justified in order to get that inflation rate up to the 2% target. And, and so you didn't see the big rush into gold. I mean, gold prices went up. When, when the Fed first uh, started cutting rates in 2001, in, 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 uh, gold was uh, $300 an ounce. <laughs> so it's not like it hasn't gone up, right? Mm-hmm. From all this QE, it's 20, 2,500 plus. So gold has gone up. But we haven't seen people you know, really looking for inflation hedges, really worried about inflation. Um, They thought the Fed had it under control. And they thought, well, you know, if the Fed ever overshoots 2%, they could just dial it right back real easy. Mm -hmm. Well, I think when they start another round of QE with the balance sheet, 7 trillion, right, where they are now, at inflation well above 2% and headed higher, then there's no pretense anymore that this policy is justified because inflation is still below target. You now have inflation way b- above target and you have a Fed ignoring that and creating more inflation anyway. And that really lets the cat out of the bag that inflation is here to stay and the dollar's a one-way street down. Mm-hmm. And then I think you get a run on the dollar. And when you run out of the dollar, you have to run into something. And I don't think you run into the euro or you run into the yen or the pound. I mean, these are not attractive. I think people are right, you know, that, you know, there's all these dirty shirts in the hamper and people think, well, the, the, do- the dollar is the least dirty shirt. So that's the one people are going to wear. Well, I think they're going to get rid of that shirt and they're not going to want another dirty shirt. They're going to want the only clean shirt that's not in the hamper and that's gold. You know, gold is money. Everything else is just a substitute. And that's where uh, it's going. And, and the central banks are leading the way. 
and the public is going to follow. Quick break here, guys. Today's episode is brought to you by Copernico Metals. Now, regular viewers of my channel will be familiar with the entrepreneur behind Copernico. His name is Ivan Bebek. Now, although a young man in this business, Ivan's already created tremendous value for his shareholders in the past, namely with Caden Resources, which he sold to Agnico Eagle and Keegan Resources, which became a mine now owned by Galliano Gold. Now, Ivan has surrounded himself with expertise from BHP, Newmont, and Barrick on his board at Copernico Metals. Check out copernicometals.com. Now back to the interview. Um, and so gold's going a lot higher, silver's going higher, and then these mining stocks, I think, are going to have to be completely repriced. Uh, and they're going to be much, much higher than they are now. And of course, there's also going to be a wave of consolidation. That's an, another wave. Uh, because now when gold prices are 5,000, 10,000, whatever they are, you know, the big gold mining companies are going to start buying up all the little ones because they need to get the resources mm -hmm. because it's, it's very hard to find gold. You know, they, they haven't been exploring, they haven't been investing in exploration and development. So where are these big companies going to replace their reserves? Well, they're just going to buy the smaller ones because they're cheap, mm -hmm. a lot cheaper than finding gold. I mean, at least you know where it is. When, when somebody else owns it and they've already proved it out. Yeah. Okay. So similar to central banks pivoting to a degree from US dollars and into gold, you could say institution and institutions and investors will pivot from the SNP and NASDAQ into um, utilities, value stocks, mining equities, et cetera. That's a, there's a correlate there, you believe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 